Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll explore the world of milling machines, delving into their components, various types, operations, applications, and more. Milling is a machining process that utilizes rotary cutters to efficiently remove material by guiding a cutter into a workpiece. Milling machines are incredibly valuable in workshops due to their precision and high metal removal rates outperforming machines like lathes, planners, and shapers. They excel in delivering excellent surface finishes and are widely used across various production applications. Let's begin by dissecting the different components of a milling machine. Think of it as a robust tool set, starting with the base, made from durable gray iron casting, serving as the anchor for all other parts. The base supports the column, a box-shaped structure that houses critical mechanisms, such as those driving the spindle and feed table. Above the column, we find the knee, an immobile gray iron casting capable of vertical movement along the column's tracks, adjusted using an elevating screw for varying heights. Sitting atop the knee is the saddle, acting as a sliding platform for horizontal movement. The saddle forms the foundation for the table, which can move longitudinally while a lead screw enables horizontal motion. Overhanging arms provide additional support for the arbor, while front braces enhance rigidity for both the arbor and knee. The spindle, positioned at the top of the column, receives power from the motor through a system of belts, gears, and clutches, and then transmits this power to the arbor. The accuracy of metal machining depends significantly on the strength and stability of the spindle. The arbor serves as an extension of the spindle and securely holds milling cutters, often with taper shanks. Arbor support can take different forms, such as a cantilever type stub arbor or support from the overhanging arm. Now let's dive into how a milling machine operates. Milling machines efficiently remove material by securing the workpiece to the table and employing a spinning, multi-toothed cutter attached to the spindle. As the cutter rotates at a controlled speed, the workpiece is fed past it, resulting in material removal and the creation of the desired shape. Moving on to the diverse types of milling machines, we encounter the column and knee type, encompassing hand milling machines, plane or horizontal milling machines, vertical milling machines, universal milling machines, and triplex milling machines. We also have the manufacturing or fixed bed type, which includes simplex, duplex, and triplex milling machines, along with planner type milling machines. Moreover, there are specialized milling machines like rotary table milling machines, drum milling machines, profile milling machines, planetary milling machines, tracer controlled milling machines, panograph milling machines, and NC CNC milling machines. Each type boasts distinct characteristics, making them suitable for specific machining tasks in workshops and manufacturing settings. Finally, the video covers an extensive array of milling operations, including plane milling, face milling, side milling, straddle milling, angular milling, gang milling, form milling, profile milling, and more. These operations empower users to craft flat surfaces, angular shapes, intricate contours, and intricate profiles on workpieces. This concludes our exploration of the content presented in this informative video about milling machines and their versatile operations. If you found this video insightful, please consider sharing it with your friends and subscribing to the channel for additional engineering content.